what's up you guys welcome to my channel i am magic and today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading on will we reconcile so i have three different cards here so basically three different groups uh, i will not show what the card actually looks like because i want everybody to pick intuitively so from left to right this will be group one this will be group two and this will be group three um, so I'll hold the card up so you can kind of get some kind of intuitive vibe with the, with the cards and see what power or what group you want to pick. So this is group one. Okay. This is group two. And this is group three. All right, and you can pick as many piles as you would like, but without further ado, we're going to get into it. Group one, welcome to your reading. The card that you guys chose was change. Hopefully you guys can see that. So basically it's like um, one of those merry-go-round ponies, but except it's not on a merry-go-round. It's attached to like an air balloon. And it's moving not by mechanics and not by force. It's moving by the wind, by natural forces. I guess you could say natural forces. Um, so there is no um, manipulation when it comes to how things are going to move between you and your person. Things have to happen naturally. And when they don't happen naturally, that's when things start to fuck up. That's when mishap starts to happen. And that's when arguments start to happen. And that's when things seem to fall apart because this relationship between you and this person has to move naturally. It has to move uh, the way that uh, it is meant to move spiritually. And however it's meant to unfold, it will unfold. Like these flowers, right? They, they tend to bloom, and they bloom over a period of time. The leaves, the, the leaves start to fall off, that's, and then the flower starts to open. And it's like this gradual process, but it naturally happens. It's expected, and we don't rush the process because we know that the flower is going to bloom. And that is what needs to happen in this relationship. Um, there cannot be a, a, a tug between you or the other person. It just kind of has to happen naturally. So if there was any type of argument um, or not being able to see eye to eye, you know, let the reconciliation happen naturally with ease. You know, over time, there will be some type of communication, but it just can't be forced. And it can't feel um, like like coerced or unnatural. You know, when th when it's time for things to come back together, it will come back together as a friendship first. You know, it'll come back together like a text here or there, a phone call here or there, and then it'll gradually increase into something a little bit more, and then a little bit more, and then a little bit more. But that's only if you've let it happen that way, okay? Um, because I, I can already sense that if there is some type of emotional manipulation on either part, this can definitely fall, fall apart, okay? <laughs> so I'll pull a few cards for y'all and see what's going on. Will, will group one reconcile? Will group one reconcile? Will group one reconcile? Somebody doesn't think that this will. Somebody doesn't have hope. Somebody does not have faith, okay? Somebody thinks that this is a lost opportunity. Okay, de you, can't, you definitely can't think like that because if you think like that, then shit really is not going to happen because if this operating by, by spirit, spirit goes off of what is inside of you. If spirit goes off of what you're already um, vibrating or what level you're already vibrating on, what frequency you're on. So if you're in a frequency of you not already having hope that this can even come back together, then it's not. 
okay? So you don't really need to me to tell you, okay? You already know what it's going to be, what the outcome's going to be by how you already feel, okay? How you already feel is going to determine the outcome, the real outcome of this relationship because you don't even have faith in it. How can anything grow or how can anything come back together if you don't have a faith or you don't even have a vision of it coming back together okay and then you have emotional loss like you you the person who picked this card okay the person who picked this card you really feel like this was an emotional loss for you you are really like at the point of uh you could really be very emotional about this separation you can be feeling really longing for this person you could really be um, on the verge of wanting to reach out to this person. And when I tell you don't do it, don't do it. It's too early. It's too premature. You're going to fuck it up. Okay? So take the time to let this person breathe. Let this person feel your absence. And when that person is able to feel your absence, the heart is going to grow fonder. Let this person be the one to reach out. Don't do it. Okay? Because if you do it, you're going to fuck it up. Because it's already feel like you're it, it feels like you're at a point of desperation because you don't have faith in the relationship. It's like you're almost willing to sacrifice your own happiness to be with this person because you feel that emptiness or you feel the absence of that person being in your life or that person communicating with you. Um, or you just spending that one on one time that you normally used to spend with this person, okay? Uh, spirit is wanting to tie your hands together, okay? <laughs> wanting to tie your hands together, wants to slow your emotion down, and wants you to not move forward, do not proceed. Let this person come to you. Because if you do, if you do, this person that you are wanting to reconcile with or hoping to reconcile with is going to take you for granted, and it's not going to work, okay? Okay? Um, let's see, let me pull from this other deck. I'm going to try to make these like really, really quick. All right. Spirit, will group one reconcile with their partner? Will group one reconcile with their partner? You guys got to let this go, okay? Let this go, let this breathe. Because you got the four of pentacles here. You are really trying to hold on to this person and hold on to this person so tight because you don't have faith that this will naturally come back together. You're trying to forcefully make this happen. You're trying to manipulate a situation um, and you're going to fuck it up because you have this four of cups here, okay? This person is going to reject you. Because you're holding on too tight. You're not letting them uh, have that feeling of missing you. Okay? They don't have that feeling of missing you, that emptiness of missing you. So they don't feel like there's anything to work on or work towards. Okay? They don't, they're not going to want to work on or work towards this if you hold on to them so tight. Because it's like once you do that, you put them up on a higher pedestal than you. You put them up on a higher level than you. And it makes them take you for granted and it makes them not even want to put any put any effort into this relationship. When you chase somebody, you uh, kind of in turn or put yourself on a frequency that you are lesser than them. Okay, that's that's the frequency that you put yourself on. You put yourself on a frequency that you are lesser than them. And that's energetically that person senses that. And they internalize that and they run with that, okay? So then you become like polar opposites. So you guys like are like push or like going your separate ways, okay? So you're trying to pull this person towards you, but this person is wanting to walk away, okay? This person is wanting to walk away. This person wants something new. This person wants to be let loose, okay? Because they don't see there's there any there's gonna be any success in this because you it's like an energetic like stronghold okay you have to have confidence that this is going to work okay you have to have confidence it's okay to have feelings and feel um, like you miss a person 
but that is when you have to put yourself first and say, you know what? I am just as deserving as this other person. Okay? Make yourself just as valuable as that other person. And don't put any emphasis on them or on them contacting you or you wanting to contact them. Because once you do that, you leave the window open in order for spirit to work and let there be some type of change there. Then that's when that person is going to be like, I miss you. Then that's when that person is going to want to come back to you. That's when that person is going to want to um, reconcile with you and communicate with you. But you have to... Okay, you got to give it some breathing room. Okay, you got to let them want to do this on their own. So do not try to text them. Do not try to call them. If they if they if you text them and they don't respond to you and they ghost you, then let it be, okay? Let it be. Don't be afraid. Um don't be afraid uh for them just for you just not to have any communication. Just know somewhere deep down inside, if you guys are meant to be together, it will be. Because once you develop that attitude, that's when things will come together. Okay, you just cannot um, force this. It's just not going to work that way. Okay, you have the lover's card here. This person probably, you have this breadcrumbs here, um, the moon here. Um, and then you have the Eight of Wands here, okay? And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, and then you have, oh gosh, you guys have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so basically, honestly, this person was like bullshitting with you the whole entire time, okay? This person really took you for granted and did not treat you the way that you should have been treated. It's, it's almost as if you put like 75% and this person put 25%. I even want to go like you put 80% in this uh, or 90% in this person put like 10, okay? You really were the driving force to this relationship. And this is why this person feels as if though um, they don't need to put any work, okay? Because you've already made them feel like they're better than or better than you. This person um, held a lot of uh, secrets from you, held a lot of emotions with you, weren't very forthcoming, weren't very communicative, weren't, they weren't even like trying to push this relationship forward, okay? And I feel like the behavior from the person that you're trying or wanting to know if you'll re reconcile with has put you in a place of lower self-esteem to where you not like devalue yourself, but I feel like you don't hold yourself um, to the, the proper standard that you should. Um, and you're, you're such a deserving person. You're such a giving person, almost to the point where you give too much of yourself and you're not receiving. It's not an even uh, exchange of give and take here, okay? So you, <laughs> I'm sorry, but y'all have like groomed this person to treat y'all like this, okay? Like, and I don't even know, there could have been another uh, this person could have been talking to other people or had another like relationship or something like that um, that they weren't forthcoming about. Okay, so you have the Knight of uh, the Knight of Cups. This person is an emotional manipulator. Okay, this could be a narcissistic person. Um, yeah, you guys could have been put in a third party situation. Um, lying, they could have been like seeing another person or had another relationship. Or like even like cheated on you or whatever the case may be. And it's like almost like they have this, this, I don't know. It, it, it is really like screaming like a narcissistic relationship to me or a narcissistic person. To where someone needs to have control over the other person. And this person treats the other person in such a way to where that, um, and to where the person that they're treating badly kind of lowers their self you know what i mean and then the narcissist is kind of up here and it, it's almost like you you get into this mindset of you know well what would i do without him like he is the only person that will love me or i can't see myself without him or i can't see myself finding someone better than this person okay um 
This is the type of person to where you have to take your power back or else this cycle is going to repeat. Um, I mean, there is going to be an opportunity, okay, um, for you guys to kind of have a conversation, but it just cannot be forced because if you come off forceful, I'm telling you this person is going to um, be guarded. They're going to stand their ground. There's going to be some kind of confrontation there. You're not really going to make any headway if you force communication um, with this person or force a relationship on this person. If anything, this person is going to make you um, even more emotionally upset, okay? I personally would just um, back off of this person for a little bit. Like you need to be in a place where you are. <clears throat> See, this nine of pentacles and this uh, nine of cups, they need to be upright. This, this needs to be you, okay? When dealing with someone like this, you need to be emotionally and physically stable, okay? And I mean like you, you, you need to be able to like, not have any attachment. You need to be full of love yourself. Like your cup needs to be filled before you even uh, reapproach this situation with this person, okay? And you need to be able to stand on your own. You need to be an independent, solid person, okay? Mind, body, and soul before this can even ever, ever work, okay? Because this person is hella controlling and hella manipulative. I'm telling you. And at some point in time, they were like trying to back up, like juggle you with another person and it really become became bursom. And this is the type of person who, like y'all been going back and forth with this over and over again. It's like been a back and forth, okay? It's like a repetitive behavior, okay? It's like almost like they, they, they treat you like shit and, and then um, they want to reconcile or they give you gifts. To, to ask you or to kind of persuade you to come back to them, okay? Uh, and this, you might want to reevaluate this. Like, do you even really want to be in this cycle again? And it's almost like, what do they call it? Um, trauma bonding. This seems like a trauma bonding situation, okay? Where someone um, manipulates you, emotionally manipulates you in such a way to where you see yourself lesser, less than them, and they kind of, it's, uh, this is uh, emotional abuse, okay? And emotional abuse is real. Emotional abuse is almost um, just as bad, if not worse, than physical abuse, okay? And, and they do this in a way to where they can control you and not get you to go anywhere. And them not talking to you is a way, is another way of manipulation. So in order to make this work, if you guys really, really want to go there, you have to play this game back. This is the only way this is going to work. This is the only way this is going to work is if you um, start to play the game back, you ignore this person, you go about your business, you become as emotionally independent and physically, financially independent as you possibly can. Like you have got to like really stand on your own two feet and really not give a fuck. And you really have to um, really stand your ground with not giving a fuck swear because <laughs> that's the only way this is gonna work y'all uh, I don't know y'all might want to just like y'all might want to just like even uh, like think about cutting ties with this person because this is really toxic you guys this is this is really toxic it's a very very toxic relationship and I mean, there can be some reconciliation, but do you want to go back through that cycle again? Because it's like you can build yourself up, but once you get around this person, uh, it's like they're going to break you back down again. And then uh, it's going to be like this whole cycle all over again. And then they're going to go to ignoring you. And then you're going to be like um, wanting to know if you if you guys can reconcile again. <laughs> so I will leave this low, you guys. I will leave. Uh, this situation alone. Um, well, I, you know, I, I didn't want it to go like that. I hope you guys, um, reconcile, uh, <laughs> see, you guys got me saying it. Uh, I hope you, <laughs> I don't even forgot the word to say. Um, I hope this, uh, resonated with you guys. Woo! Yeah, I hope you guys do. I, I, I don't know what you, but it's whatever you guys want. I, 
would definitely recommend uh, stepping away from this relationship. But, you know, if you guys resonated with this, let me know in the comment section below. <sighs> you hey, group two, welcome to your reading. Your card is inner peace. Listen, y'all, you and your partner, or you and the person that you're inquiring about have been through the mud with each other, okay? Y'all have been through a lot of shit, okay? You guys have been through your ups and downs, okay? And, and you guys have probably have been together for a while, okay? This is not like a, <clears throat> a brand new relationship. This is something that has went through went through its trials and tribulations and went through the test of time. Um, you guys have could have started off as friendship or, or started off as friends. Um, uh, you guys could have had a friendship before this even became um, like a relationship, okay? Or this could be, um, you could be asking about a friend. But whatever the case may be, I just don't feel like this is a relationship that um, has been going on for a couple of months. I honestly feel like this is a relationship that has been through a lot, okay, um, in order for it to uh, even have gotten as far as it did. Um, so, we'll see, okay? I don't want to speak too, I don't want to speak too soon, all right? So, will group two reconcile with their person? Will to will group two reconcile with their person? Will group two reconcile with their person? Listen, do you really want to? I mean, somebody is not being honest here. Okay, there is just like a lot of imbalance and instability in this relationship. And I feel like this is why you guys have been through your trials and tribulations because there has been a lot of dishonesty and imbalance in this relationship. Um, and I just feel it, it's almost, oh my God, like it's almost as if though this relationship thrives off of the instability. Um, it's almost like the makeup sex is probably really, really fucking bomb. It's like once you guys like break up and, and it's that coming back together that's like really, really um, like fucking magical, right? Um, I just kind of feel like it's something like that. It's almost like I don't know if you guys can be without the tension in order for this relationship to thrive. It almost feels like it, it, it thrives off of um, thrives, thrives off of that. I don't know instability it could because you have balance is in reverse okay you have deception and envy in reverse and then you have harmony in reverse and it's like this person is okay you guys could have had someone try to come up in y'all's relationship and break it up okay um but i just feel like it could have been like one of these things where you like you okay the other person could have stepped out of the relationship and you could have stepped out of the relationship and you guys came back together again and it happened again it's almost like there is no consistency to this relationship um there is no um really kind of like meshing where it's like really consistent like you and this other person and that's it it's almost as if um there's, there's always this going back and forth in this relationship. It's just going back and forth in this relationship. And it's always seems like it's this outside energy that's always like creeping into this relationship. Okay? And it could be, there's a woman here. It could, okay. If you're a woman watching this, I don't know if you was the one stepping out and creating the third party situation or if it was both of y'all i'm kind of feeling like it was both of you guys uh, uh, at one point in time it probably wasn't you guys doing it together but one person was stepped out okay 
and then another person stepped out and you guys came back together again um but i just always feel like it's like there's this nagging energy um outside of your relationship always coming in and separating the two it's never like a consistent cohesive um thing It, it's almost as if you guys kind of thrive off of that energy or that pattern. <sighs> Whew, listen. And it's not that you guys don't love each other, but I just feel like, can this work without that kind of, can this relationship work without that kind of back and forth? Can this relationship work with you guys just being one-on-one -on -one with each other, you know, in a monogamous relationship? Can, can it work that way? Or is there like a, a portion of getting bored? Or is there like some boredom there? It, it's almost like a birds of a feather flock together. It's like you guys are almost uh, two peas in a pod. Because you see this deceptive energy here. You see how it's got this green aura. You see this uh, harmony card? See the hands are together and around both of the hands is this green aura. It's almost as if, as if there's deception on both ends, okay? You guys are both equally responsible with where this relationship is at this point in time. And it's almost, can you guys, can you guys <laughs> be together without all of the outside energy okay you have the knight of wands okay i feel like this relationship is very passionate the sex is bomb okay I, i'm a, I, I just i i want to say that the sex is bomb like the passion is there like the connection is there like this is something that is a really um like you guys just really can't resist each other but i'm wondering like like, can you guys, uh, like, be with each other without being with other people, okay? Because almost, I feel like this passion sometimes can almost become a burdensome. And this is kind of what separates or bring you guys apart. It's almost like you guys cannot be cohesive. And it's almost like you guys like to have your pick of the litter, so to say. You guys like options. You know, it's almost like the excitement there. And I don't know, y'all. <laughs> Bruh, y'all are really something else. And I, I don't know. Like, I hope, I, I feel like I'm really picking up on this energy because it's almost like, but it's like the jealousy that brings you guys back together. It's the jealousy that makes this relationship work that brings the passion back together with you guys. Y'all are fucking weird. I don't understand this. Will group two reconcile? Will group two reconcile? Will group two reconcile? I feel like there is going to have to be, listen, At some point in time, you guys are going to have to make a choice to whether stay or to go. And I feel at some point in time, someone is going to get tired of this back and forth. Someone's going to get tired of trying to make things work. Someone's going to get tired of this cycle, okay? And there's going to be a choice that's going to be made. Hmm. Hell, you both of you guys might decide to walk away from this situation. I, and I feel like the deception, you know what I mean? The not being truthful on both of you guys' parts is what really is eventually going to drive you guys to be uh, completely separated. Because I feel like this will, you guys will come back together again because this seems to be like the cycle. This, the, this seems to be the energy behind the relationship. But at the end of the day, I feel like the both of you may get tired of this. 
the both of you may see that this is not going to go anywhere than what it's already been going. And that's just the fact of that there's this passion, there's this sexual attraction, and it may not be any more than that. And somebody or both of you are going to eventually want more. Eventually, this is not going to be enough. And someone's going to make a choice to leave. Or if not, both of you make the choice to leave each other and go your separate ways peacefully. Because you see this five of swords here, how he has this green on. And then this deception and envy has this green. And then the two hands together has this green or around it. I just feel like the deception that you guys both bring to the table is what's uh, inevitably going to be the downfall of this relationship. So yeah, there will be some reconciliation here. But for how, how long that's going to last, I don't know. Because I just feel like at, one, at some point in time, there is going to be a wanting of more. And someone's going to, to walk away. Someone's going to put want to put an end to this. And someone's going to want to start anew somewhere else. Somewhere else. Somewhere the fuck else. And it ain't going to be in this relationship. Because it's not, this relationship is not long-term wise. This is not um, going to last, you know. And I, I feel like eventually there is going to, there you guys are going to want, somebody's going to want to really have a real relationship. Somebody's going to want to really settle down. Okay, and, and this 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 unit right here, how you guys are operating, this is not going to work and someone's going to want more and they're going to walk away and they're going to end it because they're going to, they're eventually going to move on to something that's a little bit more solid. Okay, they're going to move into something that they can see long term, they can see an actual relationship or even marriage or a family with somebody. I don't know, Brooke, too. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Dang. Well, I hope you guys resonated with that. I don't know what's going on here. But if you resonated, leave a comment below. Tell me. Tell me what this is about because I was not expecting all of this. All right. I will catch y'all. Hey, group three, welcome to your reading. Um, <laughs> your card was solitude. Hopefully you guys can see that. So honestly, I believe that you and the person that you're, um, happy, the person you have in mind are not in communication right now. I feel like you guys are completely doing your own thing, but I also feel, um, as if you guys are at a point where you're really kind of, um, rehashing um the relationship in your head in your own personal space kind of going over what kind of what what took place and what kind of led up to where you guys are at in this uh where you guys are at in this uh current current place in time um that's funny um <laughs> current place in time um and i feel like you guys are wondering whether to work this out or not um, whether if you guys uh, want to um, put more work and more effort into this relationship or whether you want to just kind of focus on yourself. Um, and I kind of feel like you put the, the relationship on the back burner um, and really trying to um, come to some type of realization or some type of truth um, or or kind of just seeing the relationship for what it is and what it has to offer. And is it something that you really want to take into your future? I feel like there's some type of reevaluation and want and, and really like trying to learn from the situation. You know what I mean? Uh, rather than really trying to force it. 
There's just this uh, willingness to learn. Uh, and if it doesn't work, work out, you're okay with being alone. You're okay with walking away, okay? Um, we'll see. <laughs> will, will group two reconcile? Okay. I want. Will group three reconcile with the person they have in mind? Will group three reconcile with the person they have in mind? Will group three reconcile with the person they have in mind? Okay. I don't know. I kind of feel like you guys are kind of a little bit all over the place, really. Um, and I kind of feel like you guys are almost at the verge of wanting to give up on this relationship um, because you're not really knowing what direction this is going to go into. It's almost like you and this other person, it, it, it's like uh, almost like growing apart. Are you and this other person like this person was going this direction and you were going that direction and somehow you guys weren't meeting in in between okay um but i do feel like there's love still there but i wonder if love is enough i wonder if love is enough i also feel as if the money and finances probably played a big part and the stability of this relationship. And I, I wanna say maybe you all you guys almost feel like you were playing Russian roulette with this relationship. Like you never really knew what you're gonna get out of it. Okay. And I think that's because you guys were almost uh, having two different types of wants or going in two different types of directions. Um or just had two different mindsets of how this relationship should go. But there's love still there. But I think the question is, is love enough? Is love enough to bring this relationship back together? Are you willing to, to take another gamble on this, on this relationship? Because I almost feel like you want to remove your hand from that fire. It's almost like you, you, you're on your last leg. You really wondering, like, do you really want want to to work this out? And I really feel like the answer uh, lies on you. I feel like if you want to work this out, if you want to reconcile, you can reconcile. But I, I just feel like the answer. Is uh, gonna come from you, and you're at the point of is love and attraction enough for you to kind of take a gamble with this person again? Because I feel like there was some kind of uh, instability to a degree, uh, especially as what you guys wanted out of a relationship. I feel like this person wanted something else. And you wanted more of a commitment. This person probably wanted to be a little bit more free. And you wanted a little bit more cohesiveness. And you it's almost like you settled in this relationship to try to have something or have something work, but it just wasn't working because you guys were like in two different thought process of how a relationship should be or, or the concept of a relationship. And it seemed like you wanted a little bit more. I think you wanted some type of commitment. Um, and I feel like you're just kind of tired of chasing this person. You're just tired of waiting for a person to commit. It's probably been a long time. Or you probably put a lot of effort into this. A lot of effort into this relationship. 
But really, I feel like the other person is willing. But on their own terms, I'm not sure if this person is willing to budge and give you necessarily what it is that you want. I feel like you wanted more of a commitment. I, I think maybe you wanted to take this relationship to the next level. And I feel like you gave in to this person to because you thought that this giving in to this person would change their mind. But I don't know if it did. And I don't know if it will. So it really is up to you. Do you want to continue chasing after this person? Or do you want to go your separate way in hopes that you'll find a relationship with someone else that will give you the fulfillment that you're looking for? Yeah, I okay. I feel like this person was very, very controlling and kind of wanted things the way they wanted things, okay? And there was a lot of not seeing eye, eye to eye, not seeing eye to eye, okay? Um, there was always this instability between you guys because I feel like um, one wanted one thing and the other, uh, one of you guys wanted one thing and the other person wanted something else, okay? But I feel like you waited, you waited. You, I mean, you really uh -huh, put the work into this relationship. You put your all into this relationship, hoping, hoping, legit, lit literally, literally hoping. Because this is someone who's putting in the work and they waiting. And this is someone who is watching and waiting, okay, for their ships to sell in. You were waiting for that offer to come in. You really thought this was going to turn into like a marriage or something? Okay, this could even be, okay, so if this is not someone who thought this was going to turn into a marriage, because I really do feel like you guys thought this was going to be a marriage. Um, if it's not that, then this was a friendship that you thought was going to turn into a relationship. And it's almost like you kind of trailed behind this person, almost like a lap dog. And going with whatever it is that they wanted. In the hopes that this will work out into your favor. And I think that you kind of realized or kind of came to the truth that this wasn't going to work. Um, yeah, I think you kind of came to the realization and the truth that this wasn't going to work. And I, 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 I honestly feel like there could have been some type of communication here. Um, some type of argument or some type of words that were said um, that really kind of set the realization for you and set the tone. But this um, is causing you or telling you uh, that you need to take your power back in this in this in this uh, dynamic, okay? Um, and not really put. You need to put yourself before your needs or not necessarily okay I'll say that one. <laughs> put put yourself above this idea of a relationship or marriage or partnership or whatever it is that you have idealized in your head put yourself above that okay because once you put this idea of a relationship above you then you'll do anything to get it you'll do anything to get it and it'll get it'll put you off of your crown okay um I just don't think, and this person could have led you on. I think this person could have led you on to keep you around. Yeah, I think this person could have led you on to keep you around to make you think that this would be something more than what it is. I don't know. <laughs> Do you really want to continue waiting around because if you continue to wait around you're going to be back in the same place you are now and I don't know if that's fair to you 
okay? Because you're not in a place where you're stuck. You can get yourself out of this if you really want to. You just have to see, see it for what it is. You, know, you just have to see this situation for what it is and not for what you would like it to be. Hmm. I don't know, pal three. Yeah, because I just don't think that this is going to turn... I think you, you know, I just don't think this is going to be without disappointment. Because if, if you see the situation for what it really is, it's just something that gives you momentary satisfaction and really doesn't give you the fulfillment that you're looking for. So you're going to have to make a decision. Even if this person made you feel good. You know, being around this person made you feel good. You see this? Queen of Swords. You got to put your foot down. Because this person may just come back. <laughs> may just come back and try to persuade you. Okay? And may even tell you like, hey, um, now I, I want to settle down. I, I want this relationship. I, I want to get married. But it's just talk. It is, it is just talk. Okay? It's just talk. So, I mean, really take the time out. You know, don't um, don't rush it. See? Because you have this eight of, uh, eight of uh, wands here. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Because I think if you really think about it, you're not going to want it. I really think that you're not going to want it at the end of the day. Because... I think you're going to want to get over it, let it go, walk away. I think at, at the end of the day, once you really give it some thought, you're going to you're gonna walk away from this situation. <laughs> See? You're going to walk away from this situation. But this person is not going to go without a fight. They're going to try. Oh, no, they're going to try. They're really going to try. But like I said, you have to be willing to put yourself first, okay? But uh, listen... Pile three, group three. Um, hopefully that resonated with you. I'm going to leave it where it's at. Um, leave me a comment below. Uh, I don't know. This was a heavy read. All three piles. But I guess it is what it is. Um, I'll talk to y'all later.